Well, hey there, guys. Welcome back. So I'm out here looking at a customer's truck. Got 2000. What's it? The 2008. Okay, so we got a 2008 F-250 with a 6.4. Um, he called me out here because it has this tapping noise. Um, basically, what I concluded is that the engine is pretty much toast, like the blue truck that I just put an engine in. Unfortunately, this, these engines are hit or miss engines. And how long did you put on this truck for? About three weeks. And how many miles did you put on it? 4,000. So you put 4,000 miles on it in three weeks. I don't want to ask what you paid for it, so, you know, that's not my business. But it's sad that we have to have another 6.4 suffer the fate that pretty much all of them suffer. And like your father there, he drives a 6.0. And I'm going to tell you something. Like, everybody contacts me about buying one of these, just let them. I tell them either a 6.0 or move up to a 6.7. But it's sad, you know, that you got a nice truck here, and now you need an engine. So, it kind of kind of sucks, if you ask me, you know? And a lot of people are going to ask, does that sound like a rocker arm? Absolutely not. It's not a rocker arm, guys. So we'll go ahead and show you the balance rates on this thing. So basically looking at the balance rates using IDS, you can see the balance rates are absolutely perfect on this truck. This truck is in the beginning stages of a bearing failing on it. And basically what's going to happen is if he continues to drive this truck, it's going to kind of end up like that blue truck that I just put an engine in. And it's going to be pretty bad. So my, my suggestion to you, my friend, is do not drive this truck. Just leave it, leave it, leave it sit. There's really nothing you can really do about it, you know? And I know you got a 6.7 too that's down too. So yeah. that kind of sucks. You have two trucks. And but you got a Dodge. The Dodge runs. Yeah. How many miles are on that Dodge? Yeah, 340. Yeah, 340. It's a 5.9 Cummins, you know? Yeah. So like everybody says, it's a, it's a legendary Cummins. So, like I said, guys, looking at the balance rates, everything's perfect on it. And unfortunately, I hate to be the bearer of the bad news to this gentleman here uh, that this truck probably does need an engine. So that's where we're going to leave it, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next repair video. See ya.